Russia loses 100,000 soldiers in the Battle of Chasivyar. Russian troops captured a tiny part of Chasivyar, Donetsk Oblast, which was previously home to 12,000 people three months after launching a broad offensive on Chasivyar at a cost of 99,000 killed and wounded, Forbes reported. Analysts predict that the Russians will continue their offensive in this direction, slowly advancing at the cost of huge losses among personnel and equipment while inflicting much less damage on Ukrainian forces. To capture each city or even district, the Russians are burying tens of thousands of their own troops. The article reads, Russia's heavy losses helped Ukraine maintain its defense as Russian brigades are weakening and the Kremlin barely has time to recruit new troops. Experts say the reason for the heavy losses is the transfer of recruits to the front without adequate leadership, training or equipment. If Russia created better quality forces, it could conduct larger scale offensive operations, said retired Australian Army General Mick Ryan. Despite the capture of part of Chasovoya by Russian forces, the Ukrainian garrison in the city has not stopped fighting and has retreated several blocks to the west. As the publication's analysts notes, defensive positions on the western side of the canal are easier to defend since before directly attacking Ukrainian positions, the Russians must first cross the canal, an inconvenient, although not impossible, maneuver. As Forbes writes, some may be surprised that the Ukrainian garrison held out in the isolated and vulnerable area of the canal for so long. Back in late May, the Ukrainian think tank Frontelligence Insight predicted that Chasiv Yar would eventually be lost to Russian forces. But the garrison fought on for another six weeks. The Ukrainian armed forces were helped by the fact that in mid-April, the administration of US President Joe Biden began supplying ammunition to Ukraine again. Ukrainian defense has also been helped by the fact that Russian regiments and brigades are weakening as a result of heavy losses. This is happening because the rate of losses is forcing Moscow to rush new troops to the front without proper leadership, training and equipment. Forbes writes. Ukraine found solution to problem caused by Russian glide bombs surprises await the Russians. The Ukrainian defense forces may soon have an effective new type of weapon against Russian long-range guided aerial bombs, Ukrainian volunteer Serhii Praetula announced. Analysts from the military portal Defense Express assessed how possible this is. There is one specific technical solution that was thought up here in Ukraine. This new type of weapon is currently being tested and if it is successful, it will be put into production, said Praetula. Glide bombs are cheap. Russia is firing hundreds a week at Ukrainian targets at and behind the front lines. These bombs are small and difficult to spot on radar. They do not use propulsion or emit a detectable heat signature. Russian aircraft launch glide bombs dozens of miles behind the front lines in relative sanctuary. Analysts emphasized that there are currently only a few methods of possible counteraction to Russian glide bombs. The first is their destruction, for which, of course, an SAM system can be used, but it is impossible to call it effective. Moreover, the appearance of a Ukrainian anti-aircraft missile system would obviously have been announced somewhat differently. If not a SAM system, then the next candidate for the destruction of guided aerial bombs could be automated anti-aircraft installations such as ship-based Phalanx CIWS or its land-based version Centurion C-RAM which, by the way, Ukraine has repeatedly requested. But, as in the case of a SAM system, this is a full-fledged development that takes years and costs hundreds of millions of dollars, as the experience of Korea directly demonstrates, the report says. There are also alternative methods of disposal. The portal added combat lasers or directed microwave radiation. But all this, even in Western countries with gigantic budgets, did not reach the prototype stage as the British Dragonfire is an excellent example. In addition, as analysts noted, UABs can also be countered by jamming their satellite navigation, but it is difficult to call this a final solution. Therefore, it is entirely possible that we are talking about other methods of counteraction, the principle of which is not on the surface, the analysts concluded. Recall that earlier it was reported that Russian troops began using a new munition for strikes on Ukraine, which could change the situation on the ground. We are talking about the Fab 3000 M54. Business Insider said the munition could be highly destructive to Ukrainian military and civilian targets.